I'm Dr. Jeffrey Whitman from Dallas, Texas at the Key Whitman Eye Center. And I've been implanting the Crystal Lens uh, since it was approved by the FDA. And right now I've planted approximately 3,000 of the lenses and currently I'm really enjoying putting in the new 5.0 lens and have had a lot of success with it. In this video, I will be describing what I consider the optimal points of Crystal Lens surgery and lens insertion. For most of my crystalline surgery, I prefer peribulbar anesthesia. I find this gives me more control and uh, makes the patient very comfortable. To begin with, I like to mark the dry cornea with a six millimeter optical zone marker that I use for a template for my capsularexis. When I start the case, I like to uh, put some Ocucoat viscoelastic on the uh, surface of the cornea. I find this uh, moisturizes it for almost the entire case. I then prefer to make my main keratome incision next with a 2.8 millimeter keratome. Then I prefer to make uh, two small paracentesis incisions on either side of the main wound. Next I will fill the uh, anterior chamber with viscoelastic to protect the cornea. I then use a bent tipped cystotome to begin a 6 millimeter capsulorexis following my template. I find with the new 5.0 lens that we stay away from the smaller capsulorexis size. I prefer six millimeters or more when I tear my capsulorexis and I keep it round. After the capsulorexis, I proceed with a uh, good cortical cleaving hydra dissection and then proceed to phacoemulsification emulsification and irrigation aspiration of the rest of the cortical elements. I believe with the crystal lens, it's very important to clean the posterior capsule. If you see any uh, posterior cells, uh, go ahead and polish them. I prefer a silicone polisher, and I'll even polish the underside of the anterior capsule leaflets. Next, I fill the capsular bag with viscoelastic, and I insert the 5.0 lens with the MTC injector cartridge provided by Ionix. Now let's take a look at a few examples of lens insertion. I insert uh, the injector through the uh, 2.8 millimeter incision. It's a little bit of a tight fit, but I go slow and inject the lens until the body of the lens is out. And then you use the tip portion of the uh, injector to inject the entire lens into the anterior chamber. Then I take a second instrument, such as a Connor wand, and simply by pushing the lens inferiorly away from the surgeon, I can pop the uh, both haptics into the uh, capsular bag. I always rotate into the uh, 12 to 6 o'clock position. I'll remove viscoelastic from underneath the lens and over the lens. And then I seal the uh, paracentesis and main uh, corneal wound and make sure that the lens is in its posterior position. I begin to inject the uh, lens with the uh, cartridge. I wait for the full body of the lens to go in, but you can do this as a one-step technique by positioning the trailing haptic as it comes out of the injector into the capsular bag, as you see. I then move the lens into uh, position. I perform irrigation aspiration to remove the viscoelastic both behind the lens and in front of the lens. I hope that you found this video useful and that you will enjoy inserting the Crystal Lens 5.0.